Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. So today I found this new aim trainer on Steam specific to Apex Legends. Kind of like a weird Kovacs. I know how you guys keep commenting, I have no friends to practice in the test range. I mean I have tons of friends, I, I, I can't relate to that. Anyways, I, I spent already 6 plus hours in the past 24 hours uh, so I could review it for you guys and I paid for this adventure to see if it's actually worth it. To give you that person that you can aim train with and I can say I already enjoyed it as you can tell I already spent a lot of time in there. These new bots became my new friends because they're way more reliable and they listen to me. What I'm going to do from here is quite literally launch it. Explain the settings in real time, so if I stutter or stammer, I apologize. Just want to give you guys an honest and realistic view of it, so you can ask yourself the question, is it worth it for me? Also, here at the start, I'm just going to show you just some of the footage raw of what it looks like whenever you're kind of going through everything. But anyways, let's get into all the settings, what it looks like when you launch it, and we'll talk through it. Alright, so when you launch it, it looks very, very bare bones, as you can tell. You have three different maps you can choose from. The shooting range is the long range one where you can do maybe longbow, G7, all kinds of stuff like that. You have the 1v1 level and training grounds. They're very much the same. One of them just has an open sky and one of them has a wall on it, which is the training grounds. You can change the map color. I don't really have a mess with a whole lot. You can add a lot of bots to kind of add to more visual flair to make it overwhelming. You can create them into little balls or humanoid. I recommend the humanoid. You can change the HP of the overall bots as well on this. Now the bot size, you can change it to um, 1x, make it even larger, make them smaller, kind of depending on your overall practice. Spawn distance, you can also change that on this screen located here. You can also do the bot movement. A lot can be done here as well, especially in the test range of Apex Legends. You know how we're talking about the issue is that you don't have somebody to practice with. This is like the best replacement. You can have them straight, you can have them follow in straight, you can have them do random stuff, you can have them jump, crouch, and then also jump and random short strafe, which is also good for the 80 80 spam. But overall, a ton of great stuff here. They can show the bots can attack, they can show the health bar, uh, show the aim assistant where it kind of has that purple bar. You can turn that off if you want, I'll leave it on so you can see it. You can also show hit marker and bullet trail. Now here's the, the coolest part about this overall experience is that this was obviously updated. Like they have the Volt, the Alternator, the Havoc, the Flatline, the R301. So if you want to do the R301, you can put very stabilizers on there to kind of practice those. Whether you're having a gold one or level one, you could put standard stock. You can change the optic. You can also put a magazine size. I recommend changing it to ultra fast reload. So you're not waiting for a reload animation every time you finish. So that's kind of nice. So right now I'm going to leave it to the Volt and the R301. Just as, as an example of what to practice. I don't really notice a difference between start challenge and start practice, to be quite honest. Because once you're in there, it's not like there's a timer. Maybe there is. Maybe you just haven't really learned a whole lot about this overall. But nonetheless, that's an interesting thing that you can overall see. You can also save your presets. So after you mess with all these settings, you can change them. Maybe one with a higher sensitivity. Maybe one with a lower sensitivity. Because you can change your keybinds. You have this all here. You can change your aim to toggle or to hold. You can even do the sprint style that way. There's a lot you can change here. It has pretty much everything that you could exactly really want in comparison to Apex Legends. So that's a nice feature. Now, you can change the game settings. So it has all your FOV settings here. I put mine to 101. Um, you can change the V-Sync. Just always turn that off. Frame rate unlimited, full screen. Visual fidelity doesn't really matter a whole lot. I don't really notice a huge difference. I mean, there are bots and it's a kind of an empty landscape. You can change the audio. You can change your mouse sensitivity. I changed mine to match my hip fire, so that's why this is 1.251. And you can change your mouse sensitivity as well from this big scale. You can customize per zoom level, which is also sick. I actually just discovered this as I'm doing the video, so that's amazing. I'm probably going to actually copy and paste my settings, put them all in here. That's actually amazing. That's pretty cool. Uh, but nonetheless, once you get in it, it's pretty straightforward, to be honest. I'm going to show just a few examples. Obviously, you have the challenge here. And you can just kind of move around, strafe. Please don't judge my aim right now. It's pretty early in the morning. See how I can crouch spam, move around. Get into a fight with these guys, you know. Practice your overall spray. Mine apparently isn't that good this morning. But notice how the ultra-fast reload kind of kicks into play here, right? That's what I was trying to refer to. You can switch to the Volt. Oh, actually I was using the Volt. 
that makes sense why my aim over here compensating for the wrong gun. But how it has a hollow and HCOG, and the models of the weapons also look very um, similar to what you're trying to look for. Overall, pretty uh, solid experience. You can change this, you can change the distance in which they spawn. If you want to make it more hectic, you can add more bots to this as well. Just, just so you get overwhelmed. Like, this is going to look very overwhelming, right? But it's going to help you get used to being overwhelmed and seeing all the markers. I think this is really good practice, to be honest, as well. Because the more clutter you have, because Apex is known for having a ton of clutter in their game. This isn't a bad way to practice either. It's like visually overwhelming, but at least you can still practice on tracking what you're trying to do. You can even do this with a wingman, and the wingman model is pretty solid as well. I'll show that real quick. Just the wingman. You can even show the longbow. Uh, let's do the wingman real quick. And I'll put the famous duo with the R99. I'll just put none so you can see what that looks like. You can add the extended mag. Uh, don't want to put a stabilizer on it right now. You can see how the wingman looks, see? It's a pretty cool. Good way to practice. So the bots, actually this is important to note, they move faster than Apex Legends, which is not a bad way to practice. I highlight that because if you can hit these guys and you should be able to hit anybody in Apex Legends, somebody can disagree that they're moving the same speed, but they seem faster. That's just my own personal two cents and again I'll show you the training ground what that looks like see how it's pretty much the same overall look but would just stay solid background let's see what this uh, classic I guess you can turn it to blue see how it's got blue on there there's not a whole lot here but what is here is pretty important to helping you improve your aim so if you want to do just a shooting range you can have it spawn really far away if you really struggle with hitting your shots you know because, you know, the biggest thing, especially controlling recoil at a distance, you get the markers on there. You see? Oh, my God. I can't even see those guys. Now, that's a little unrealistic. It's probably best if you use, like, a G7 or something along those lines. I got to change my sensitivity settings now that I've literally in real time learned that you can change them per scope, which is really, really sick. So I just got to adjust this and work on that. But I hope this was pretty insightful to decide. I mean, is this worth $5? If you do a lot of Apex Legends and you do a whole lot of Kovacs, this isn't a bad way to spend your money especially <laughs> unfortunately whenever it's not everybody wants to go in the test range and practice 1v1 fights right i think this is a great alternative considering the recoil pattern is there on the gun like if you just see the recoil pattern it is present on the weapon i really don't notice the difference between practice and challenge mode unless this this is being built out but nonetheless it's just interesting and if you add the stock obviously i think you move a little faster so if i were to change that real quick let's say i put a level three standard stock stabilizer so you can see the difference see how my movement speed is a little faster to the stock you need to practice a higher movement really bad recoil control but kind of see the difference there just a little bit not a massive one all right i'm gonna stop rambling i hope that you found this video insightful hopefully this was helpful to help you make a decision about this the only thing I did notice in terms of a bug, I think after a while it stops recording accuracy from what I noticed. Like if I was sitting here for about like 30 minutes playing, then I noticed it just stopped recording the overall accuracy that then I just reset the challenge and then everything was hunky door again. But has the settings, sensitivity is accurate, it feels like Apex Legends, the gun models are there. They're kind of knockoff versions, the movement, the recoil, everything seems pretty top notch. It was, it's a fun way to practice considering in Kovac you don't have any recoil and everyone always says, this is the biggest comment I see constantly in the comment section, is that, you know, Kovac doesn't really help you. I look at Kovacs as a gym. When you practice at the gym, then you go play your, your respective sport, right? You go play basketball, go play football, you go play tennis, anything, whatever sport it is, it doesn't really matter. But then at that point, you go and then you you uh, go to practice the actual sport. Nothing beats the real thing. This is a nice segue between blending and aim trainer and the real thing. What this solves is having an issue of just having people to practice against. And while it's better to be in the actual game still, nonetheless, this is a great solid way to practice on your own when you just have nothing around you to practice. Oh, and there is a controller set of beta. That's kind of sick. So it does have this. It is a beta. I, I'm not a controller, but nonetheless, it's nice to see that they, they thought about that. So that's kind of interesting. But again, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe for more content. Hopefully you guys have been finding this content relatively helpful. Uh, that's been the goal overall of the channel, just to help you guys out with your aim, you know, talk more high level theory, all that fun stuff. But again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.